All right, so the next thing I want to talk about is probably something you use every day, but you didn't know it had some extra features to it, and that seems to be the theme of today, of course. And that's the page thumbnails panel. So I'm going to bring up the page thumbnails panel. What I wanted to show you is that um, you probably know you can drag PDF pages between documents. So if I had another PDF open, I could drag the pages from that PDF in and you know, combine them together very easily. That's something most people are familiar with. What you probably don't know, however, is that you can also drag in any file format that Acrobat can convert to PDF. So you'll, I, you may see I have a ping, a PowerPoint, an AI file, a, an Excel file, a Word file, and a JPEG. I'm just going to select all of these, and I'm just going to drag them right in here. You'll see that I get the cursor. I can decide where to put them. And I'm going to let go. And now what it's going to do is it's going to go through each one of them, convert it into a PDF automatically, and insert it just where I told it to go. And so you'll see that it's having to start up Office and, and do the conversions and everything. But at the end of the day, we should have a PDF with all of these pages in it. And there we go. Quick and easy conversion right in line where you want it. So you don't have to convert separately and then do a page insertion. You can insert right exactly where you want with a nice logical drag and drop. Oh, and I didn't point this out, but um, this works. I'm demonstrating on a Mac. Everything you're seeing today also works exactly the same way on Windows. There's nothing special about anything I've shown you today. It all works in every copy of Acrobat. Oh, you mean what version of PDF? The whatever version the document you're starting with is. Um, that also, um, yeah, so that's, yeah, so in that case, now, if you have a file that's a PDFX, and I'll talk about this in a second, uh, you know, complies with one of the international standards, we can't, we're not converting those to PDFX on the way in. So we'll keep the PDF version number, but we're not doing standards conversion. You'd still have to go file save as PDFX or PDFA or whatever to maintain that conversion. So we talked about dragging in. Um, as you might imagine, this also works to drag out. So I select, I, I, I'll just grab two pages here. You can grab any selection you want. Um, and you probably already know this, but I'll show you anyway. You can, of course, expand this panel if you need to see more of these things at once. So I'll just grab a couple of pages. And I drag them out to the desktop. And now I have on my desktop, I'll hide Acrobat for a second, this new file called Untitled Extracted Pages. And if I open that back up, we will see that it is the four pages that I chose to extract in the order I selected them. And to what I was talking about earlier, if the original file had been a PDFX or PDFA, we would maintain that compatibility on the newly extracted pages. Because we didn't modify them, we simply extracted them. But we do take care to ensure that all of the standards compliance goes with them. That is one place where you can drag out and maintain that compatibility. So this, I think, is just a nice way of working with. You can always use our combined feature and the organized pages features. All of that works. So if you like, if, if you're a big fan of organized pages instead, um, organized pages is just a really fancy version of the page thumbnails panel, if it wasn't clear. So all of the capabilities are available in both. If I go and I drag in from here, I'll just drag in a JPEG. Uh, I'll just drag in that guy. Um, that works here, too. So if you'd like the, the full visibility of the organized pages and drag and drop, um, everything I just showed you works here, too, because they are equivalent uh, capabilities in Acrobat.